question about Kelhoff, and Reg obviously has a problem, a little slow there, trying to get it going now. We'll find out a little later on what the problem was. Looking as they scream up there, Mark Rutherford has got an excellent start up from the second row of the grid. Let them sort themselves out, we'll pick it up as they get around there. Reg Cook, quite slow up the start, it's Tony Marsh, the man leading out, Mark Rutherford behind him. Tony Marsh, Rutherford, Warren Steele, and then Roy Harrington. So we might see a good race here between Marsh and Rutherford. Marsh, the pole qualifier, Rutherford on the second row, got a brilliant start and pulled his way right up. There's Roy Harrington starting to pick it up now, up into third place, out wide on the left-hand side. Warren Steele in the white Nissan two-liter. Marsh and Rutherford starting to walk away now. Roy Harrington pulling up in third. But Tony Marsh is the man to catch. Car number five, the Nissan Sunny 1300. Sprinting down to the end of the back straight now. This is the corner that tells the tale. It just keeps on keeping on and going round. All through there quite happily. Mark Rutherford still second. Roy Harrington third. Warren Steele fourth. Rich Cook way down the field. As we get into the race a bit, we'll try and talk to him and find out what the problem was. The Mark Rutherford being dropped back a little in second place now. This man, Tony Marsh, leading out and pulling out quite a margin. You can see the gap now back to Mark Rutherford from Christchurch. In second place. And Roy Harrington right on Rutherford's tail in third place. Harrington in the Escort Twin Cam. Warren Steele. In fact, we won't have to call up Reg on the radio telephone. He's given it away. We're going to comment from him in just a moment. Oh, Reg, more bad luck again. Harrington just passed Mark Rutherford. In the back straight. Tony Marsh still wandering away with it though, Reg. Yes, Tony Marsh is lucky to get a good break there. Obviously, Mark Rutherford held him up because Roy didn't get a very good start. Uh, but Roy is quicker than Mark Rutherford and a very good turn competitor. And I think he'll slowly close in on Tony Marsh. Reg, what happened this time? Um, for some reason or another, we've, uh, something's gone wrong with one of the pistons. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but that's what's going to hold us. We, I doubt if we'll be competing later on today either. We've put a special set of pistons in to cure this problem. Uh, two weeks ago, but it looks like it's uh, a bit more than we thought. Meanwhile, Tony Marsh it is in car five, the Nissan Sunny 1300, who's clearing away from Roy Harrington. Roy Harrington, unfortunately, as I said, was held up with it, didn't get a very good start. Mark Rutherford got in front of him and was managed to hold him up. But Roy, as I said before, very determined. And if you watch his car in the corners, he's going to be cutting corners using all the grass. And he'll be deep braking, very deep. He should close in under Tony under braking and be able to probably close the gap a bit because. Uh, when you're behind, and particularly Roy Harrington there, he's a, when he's behind, he's a very competitive driver, and he always closes in on the man in front of him. What's the history of Tony Marsh's car, the one we're looking at now out in front, and why is it so competitive well, here? Well, Tony Marsh's car, a car that we built about five years ago and won Shelsfield races in it, then it went to a man, John Diamond, then another person, Warren Steele, then to Tony Marsh. So it's been around a long time, it's had some uh, good people drive it, and uh, initially, the first time we ever raced this car, it won its first Shelsfield races straight up, and we won about seven Shelsfield races out of nine starts in it. I later went on to a more modern car, otherwise I'd still be in that car now. So Tony Marsh pulling away, Roy Harrington trying to catch him, Mark Rutherford still third. Took Harrington a while to get past Rutherford, and that's going to cost him in terms of the race, yeah, because I wonder if he's there. got enough space left to make it up now. See Roy Harrington there, he's using all the road, um, he's cutting all the corners. And in this particular corner, he'll probably get very wide coming out of it. Uh, in an F here, Roy using all the road. He's determined to try and catch Tony Marsh. Tony's ahead of him in the championship on points, and Roy's got the finish ahead of him to close the gap on points. Because Shellsport races are not races. It's a championship that everybody's chasing. It's 10-round, 10 10-meeting 10 championship, 20 races. And uh, it's very important to uh, 
keep winning and keep in front of the other competitors if you want to win the championship. The man leading the race at the moment is leading the championship with 41 points. Warren Steele second yeah. on 36 and Roy Harrington in third place with 28 points. Yeah, Roy Harrington's won the championship two years in a row and he wants to make it a third if he can. We won it three years in a row some time back and Roy wants to equal what we did. You notice there in the corner Roy getting very slippery and uh, trying very hard but Tony's car, Marsh's car appears to have just a bit too much power on a straight line. Mike Moore there, as you saw before, blowing a lot of smoke. You notice here, Roy closing right up under braking and uh, getting very close. Going back in the order, Warren Steele in fourth place, Mike Moore in fifth place, and Dave Strong. Yes, I think you it see is. Roy Harrington going through these corners, trying very hard. Yes. These three, Mark Rutherford, Tony Steele, and Roy Harrington, have really pulled away from the rest of the field, opened up quite a gap, almost half the length of the front straight. Yeah, and Roy Harrington's definitely closing in on Tony Marsh. And it's, it's Mark Rutherford, uh, who's in third place, is uh, from Christchurch and is doing, ex is doing very well to be so close. Oh, Tony Marsh is locked up. He's lost it. He's gone. Yes, he's right out of it. But Roy Harrington, well, he'll be very pleased. Poor old Tony. Tony will be most disappointed. He was in the lead, and, and he was going to take a points, even greater lead. And now Roy Harrington's going to go in the lead in the Saloon Coach Championship. Well, Roy will be, he'll be absolutely elated at the moment, but he mustn't make a mistake. Roy could easily make the same mistake. His, his adrenaline will have dropped. His, his whole attitude and his mind's changing, and he mustn't make a mistake. Now, Roy could quite easily make a mistake. Here they come. It didn't look like he was under a lot of pressure. Yes, there. well, here's Tony Marsh. He, he's in the front. It's, uh, he's not used to leading races like this, and he comes down, and he's worried about Roy closing in on him, and he leaves his braking a bit late, and he locks up, and unfortunately, didn't take his foot off the brakes. Now, if he'd take them off, he could turn the corner. He left his foot on the brakes and carried on straight off the circuit. And his car will have sustained a bit of suspension damage as well. Well, well Tony won't be happy about that at all. That is his... There's one of my hallmarks. That's a tragedy. Well, Tony Marsh. Certainly from the time he put the anchors on until the time he was right he on never the track. Took them up. Uh, and the marshals with the fire extinguishers are there very quickly in case of a fire or accident. And there's Tony Marsh in the middle of the picture now. He's done very well to lead this championship. And here he's seen his lead go out the window from a driving mistake. And that's something he won't want to do. Which puts Roy Harrington in the lead. Mark Rutherford second. Warren Steele up to third place. Yes, and Roy... Um, like I said, there have been a tremendous change with Roy in his mental attitude. He's just got to drive to finish now, and uh, it's so easy to make a mistake now. So watching these drivers circulate, it might look easy, but I can assure you, it uh, is far from an easy circuit to learn, and far from an easy circuit to drive. Well, especially Mark Rutherford, uh, who's a very determined young man. He's done very well in other classes of motor racing. If Roy makes the slightest mistake, Mark Rutherford will be behind him, and Mark Rutherford isn't going to make a mistake. So he, even though he's three seconds behind or four seconds behind at the moment, the pressure is still there on Roy to a certain degree. Mark Rutherford, a man who came up and did exceptionally well in uh, Escort Sports Series. Yes. Very good driver. And his father it was a very good motor racer before, and I think it's his father-son combination which uh, gets the most out of this team. Roy Harrington's car is smoking a bit, but don't worry about that, because that car invariably is uh, always smoking. Round to the chequered flag, Roy Harrington the winner, Mark Rutherford second, Warren Steele third in the Shell Sport first race of the day. And that will change the points situation. Tony Marshall was leading from Warren Steele and Roy Harrington. Roy Harrington having just improved his place in the overall championship. And fifth was uh, Mike Moore and sixth was uh, Phil Moore who's a... Uh,